Hello. It's another walking one, sorry. Next week's, um, I'm actually off. This is my last week working at the studio, so next week's videos are all gonna be very um, from home in my studio. Maybe I'll take you around my house, that kind of thing. So um, I got asked to talk about Doctor Who because I guess I'm very vocal about my Doctor Who fandom, or at least I used to be more. Um, and that was it, just to talk about Doctor Who. Well, I don't know what to say about it really, but um, I hold it responsible for a number of things. Uh, one is my uh, love of writing. Um, I always liked writing and creating stories and stuff, but Doctor Who really made me get into script writing. Um, I think the prominence it gives the writer of each episode really up there, you know, along with the actors' names, was what made me really become aware of script writing as a proper, proper job. Um, and thanks to that, um, I actually have written two official Doctor Who universe stories for Big Finish that do the audio adventures, um, both quite sort of... Uh, outer realm, sort of rims of canon, um, I suppose. They're both about kind of spin-off companions and things. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of both helped and hindered my way of writing stories because um, if you look at like any Dead End issue, they're kind of structured like a typical Doctor Who episode. It's kind of Monster of the Week, but it's kind of really about something else. And um, yeah. And obviously I did a comic with my good friend Lydia, who I only know because of Doctor Who, um, called Doctor Who Regenerated, and that was so much fun. I mean, <laughs> pain for her because uh, we wanted to go for a style that meant it took a very long time to draw, and um, Lydia only got uh, this in issue and three quarters um, before I kind of trailed off. Um, I keep saying we should officially say it's done. Lydia is still very determined to get it finished, I think. Um, but it was so much fun to write it with her and to come up with her own stories, and quite a lot of them have ended up being quite close to uh, Doctor Who episodes you get nowadays. And I still really love Doctor Who. Um, I'm one of those lifelong kind of people. You know, I might not always agree with the way the show's going. Sometimes I would do it differently, but. I'm always very excited on a Saturday when an episode's about to air, and whether I like it or not, I have something to talk about, and I think that's always um, what I mostly get out of it. Um, but yeah, I know Lydia because of it, but I also met my husband through Doctor Who. Um, I met him on a Doctor Who forum, a very famous one in the fandom called Gallifrey Base. Um, we just... I liked his avatar. <laughs> we ended up talking and then I met him at a Doctor Who convention for the first time where I also met a few um, other good friends that had stayed with me. Um, and strangely, people always assume that we must like be obsessed with Doctor Who or we must have had a Doctor Who themed wedding. Um, but no, we barely talk about it. We usually talk about it for about 10 minutes after an episode is aired and then go back to not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think what I love about Doctor Who is just the potential. I think that's what frustrates me about, if, any, like, if anything frustrates me about the show, it's that they're getting too trapped into like the typical idea of a Doctor Who. They don't sort of use the format enough. Um, maybe don't go as extreme with companions as I think they could do, or go to places that aren't just a Welsh quarry, but you know, <laughs> that's also partly why we love it. Um, it has the biggest concept of, in the world and sort of the smallest scope sometimes. Um, anyway, I probably will talk about it more, but if you could ask me some more specific questions rather than just talk about blank, that'd be useful. Bye!